In this video, we're going to go through Boolean identities. Boolean identities are very important when you're simplifying Boolean expressions. You must know them. There are eight that you need to know, and you really do need to know them. They are, I'm going to cover them, I'm going to put them into three categories. You just, there is no other way than sitting down and learning them, and you really do need to do that. So, first of all, I'm going to do a category where we're going to do anding and oring with a 1 or 0, or true and false, if that's what you like. So what I'll do, or what I'll try to do, is go through this um, and prove each time why it's true. So, let's start. I could add or with 1 any term. So I could do A or 1. doesn't matter what A is. A might be, it could be a B or 1. It could be not C or 1. It could be not Z or 1. It doesn't matter. Anything or with 1 is always 1. So there's a first identity. Now if you do this as a, a truth table, we're going to have two inputs to our OR gate. We've got one is going to be A, and one will be 1. Now A can be 0, just change that, or it can be 1. So A can be on or off. 1, well that can only be 1. That's it, that's all it can be. So A or 1, well or them, a 0 or a 1 is a 1. A 1 or a 1 is a 1. So this is always 1. So A or 1 can be replaced in any expression just by 1. OK. What about if we anded them instead? So A and 1. What does that equal? Well, rather than telling the answer, let's have a look. Let's have a go at this. Let me just get rid of this last column because that's the one where we're going to get the answer. So here we have the same inputs. This time, though, it's an AND gate. So we have A, which could be 0, 1, and we're anding it with 1, which is always 1, 1, and 1. So let's and these. A 0 and a 1 gives me a 0. A 1 and a 1 gives me a 1. Now, if you notice, these two columns are the same. This is 0, and this is 0. This is 1, this is 1. So when this is 0, this is 0. When this is 1, this is 1. Therefore, we can say that for this identity, A and 1 is the same as A. So this, this actually has no difference. So the first two identities, you just really, hopefully this truth table will help you believe it, but you just need to learn them. Okay, so that's if with one. What, ab what about if we do it with a zero? If we do A or zero, A and zero. Let's think about that. So again, I've got two inputs to my gate. I've got A and I've got zero. A can be on or off, the other way around, off or on. And zero, well, that can just be zero. So that's all zero can be. Zero can be zero. So what if we do the first one? We do A or zero. Well, A or zero. Well, here's A and here's zero, or them. 0 or 0 gives me 0. 1 or 0 gives me 1. So you've got the 1 there, so I get a 1 there. Again, if you look at this, see what you notice. You notice, hopefully, that that column is the same as that column. Therefore, we can say that A or 0 is the same as A. Right, well, so far so good. The last identity here is A and 0. Well, OK, let's have a go at that. Inputs stay the same. We've still got A, we've still got 0. We're going into my AND gate. So here, A is 0, A is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So AND them. 0 and 0 always gives me 0. 1 and 0, that gives me 0. It's an AND gate, gives me 0. Therefore, we can say that is equal to 0. A big 0 there, look at that. So these are the first four identities you need to know. 
if you're if you've got in your expression something that includes a 1 or a 0 you need to apply these four identities so anytime you see any expression that says something or 1 something and 1 something or 0 something or and 0 you need to use these expressions so as an example let's do it in red you might get something like this a and b or 0 now here if you or anything with 0 look we look at this one a or 0 and we say well, a or 0 gives me a so b or 0 well that gives me b and there would be a simplification I could do something else I could have a go at um, say a and not a and zero now in this case this is very similar to this I'm anding something with zero in that case a not a and zero is always zero so I get a and zero but actually I can go one step further because a and zero is zero so I can there's two examples there the last thing I want to mention here is you can have this B and 0 and not A and B now in this case this side is where we're looking at the identity and we're using again this this one here B and 0 is always 0 so that becomes 0 and it with A B in the brackets, but that bracket, the contents, the result of that bracket is anded with zero. Well, anything's anded with zero is zero. So the final answer is zero. So you need to watch out for that. Right.